continue the game. Not so great train robbery. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid, and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Unlock the Golden Rock. Okay, now I guess I'll start upgrading in the trapper. I got a silver shotgun. Maybe I'll get them all. I don't know how far I am through the game or not. I like to get all. Are you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I would imagine you do. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. Oh, I figured the Wild Bunch would likely hit such a treasure, and by God, I figured right. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the train high above. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. Well, I suppose I should go down here and check this train before. It's always weird walking through a place like that. I feel like the camera should also tilt with me. ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Well, I made my way off unscathed and came upon Shit. a few members it's of the gang and had no choice but to hell? dispatch them. Well. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. Hmm. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. Well, I was gonna get my ass out of anywhere. I'd probably hop in the back of a carriage. But you know, ooh, I'm straying away from the storage. The storage is not extended in this direction. Oh, wreck. I jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past the whole passel of desperados. Oh, they're quick shooters. Yeah. Ooh, I will swap that. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. You'll die for this, you hear me? Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. Hmm, I don't think that's quite the case. Ma'am. No thank you for the quick shooter. A little bit trigger heavy. Good. Oh, 
I wonder if I have to go that way. I don't think this is the route I want to go. I might need to stop at some point for a very quick second to go check my door. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was really? likely to die that day anyway. So I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Man, it gives me so much options in regards to that. You can't hide from me! Oh, you're up there, aren't you? Times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. Cabo. Oh. Oh. That hurt. I didn't. Oh, well, that train got pulled. That car got blown to shit. Take that secret, though. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. Man, like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about. Did they come riding in? Guns a blazing to help? Oh, side story. Help? From the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome, as usual. Who the hell is that? Oh, help! He's out of his mind! Oh, ready to be Take cover! Retreat! Retreat! He's killing everybody! Ah! He'll kill us all! Ah! Ah! Run! Telling me I'll kill y'all. Whoa. What? Oh, I must have pulled my mouse. Uh I don't have any upgrades to close quarters. Uh that. Shooter, no thanks. I'm very fond of my current pistols. This just seems all too obvious for a secret or something. But there ain't none. It's weird. Really? Those butts? Why would they be even down here? Bat body boy was in my way. Well, I got all the secrets. Which is not my forte either. My guess is those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened, did they? What the fuck? Make any sense Only a few stragglers were left, and I had to cut them down pronto if I was going to stay on old Bob's trail. I didn't kill him fast enough. 
Well, that kind of sucked. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry, and maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. This guy's name is Flatnose, huh? On that Man, very same dies. day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamped for South America. They ended up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. Word of choice. Boom. One thirty to hell. Oh, my. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with them. Hmm. Looks really nice, please. Whoa, the moon. Holy shit. That kid Curry's kind of crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Hmm. How to deal with these boys? Outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense him close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. Man, the secrets are not that hard. Engraved Ranger. Take that. Unless I happen to find the fucking inlaid Ranger. Good. Just 
Where are the other ones? Where am I going to now? I feel like jumping down there is a bad idea. Find clues. And I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. Oh, wow. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Though some say it was only five. <clears throat> Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was gonna rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. Fat Sally. Well, the fat chick's gotta get their loving too, I guess. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. Okay. I suppose you're right, sir. And I made it a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. Well. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Oh, Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. But the Wild Bunch did not take kindly to my presence, and attempted to blow my head off. Of course, I had to tread carefully. Otherwise, I could, well, die. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. But what are you doing? Oh, God. That's where I came. What the fuck? Climb down that ladder. Walk across that beam. Oh, really? Really? Sometimes I think I need to be more observant. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Yes, there's always oh, desperate God. men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. And what happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Protecting my face. Now I no longer have face protection. This asshole has a death in uh, Oh, uh, I was too damn close. Right close. Oh, your face.
He called down the thunder. So, what happened then? Had to remove more of that damn dynamite. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Jump down this. I mean, you would almost die from a what? Six foot drop, maybe. Jesus Christ. Fuck shit. Okay, now you're really pissing me off. Well, that went well. Uh, what do I want? I'll take these. Time to die! That was a triple bonus. So that was all the dynamite? Funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge in Pete progress. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. proceeded onward and realized that uh. that way just wasn't gonna work. Ooh. I needed an alternate path forward. You mean like uh, up here? But up here looks so cool. Oh, let's not do that. Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. Hmm. It was a long, burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. <clears throat> the burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed the last dynamite charge. Well, it was a touch-in reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. I hope you what? understand how what? badly my adventure what? might have ended had I not been as careful as hell. What? <laughs> I don't understand what just happened. That's a game bug. Okay, 
I'll be right back. Well, I took off my headset, and I didn't mute it, so now I'm back anyway. Uh, before I continue on, I'm going to check something really quick. Oh, nothing important. Okay. Back to it, I suppose. Can't use that, because that's fucking way too far. Alright. Quickly going to check out here. See if there's secrets or anything. Still missing two. Oh, oh. Okay. The game doesn't want me to go that way. I just realized I closed my. I didn't almost closed my chat. Well, thank you, Dweed. Thank you. Kill that is a weed. Make him bleed. Finally, I found those boys. Or more precisely, oh, did. they found me. These crazy are getting dirty at me. Dirty as a damn fruit cup. Dodge this. Do that ass. Whoa. 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 What a. Reload that gun really quick. Shoot him in the head. You in the head. Speak of irony. He's a mad dog. Come on now, I'll reload a little faster. You guys just stand there and I'll reload you. Catch that bastard. Inlays? Inlays, give me that. Thank you. I love that one. I don't know why, I just really look at that one as well as like everything else. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid oh. Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. It it's was just... hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Shit, to be honest. Show him how to die. Oh, I really that. You bastard. How you doing, buddy? Come on, come on, come on. Get 
Not you, yellow bastard! Why is this cover to run to? Oh, Luckily, I had located some dynamite. I still, however, had my work cut out for me. Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. Bring it, bud. You're gonna bleed. Walk about like all the shit. My focus is not high. Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> oh. Okay, come on. I'll get you better this time, don't worry. I need my speed to be high, that's what I need. My focus is okay, but my speed is much higher. I dodged the first shot, and <laughs> I almost dodged the second shot, but he got me in the face again. Okay, let's uh, do this again. Oh, buddy, you're getting... Getting focused in on something. As Bam. fast as he was, I was just a bit faster. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. I shot him in the face. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch's Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. You dead, son. Those were his last words. That's some pretty shitty last words. Keep Curry, I'm our big kid. So, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim, not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rolled with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Ah, nothing great about that. And from there, him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. Forty grand for both of them. 
Dead or alive, that's one hell of a payday. Death rides a steel stallion. I confronted them as they were robbing a train. Bullets were flying at me from every which way. I would have fucking done that. But I knew I'd have to fight my way forward if I was going to find this gym. stop this train in the first place. Well, the James boys were experts at this. They hopped a freight train, having heard there was a big payroll in the express safe. So, I hopped the same train. Oh. The James Younger gang was decimated after that little fiasco they had in Northfield, Minnesota. So Jesse needed more men and took on mm. the killer I was after, along with a host oh, of others. I was hoping to find my man and put a bullet in his head. That's all I shot on. That might be a bit rough. Can't, can't go with that line. My faithful. Climbing around that train, I must have swallowed a hundred damn bugs before I the reached James that. James Younger Gang pulled the first train robbery west of the Mississippi. Sounds like you hold them in high regard. Everyone knows they were the most famous outlaw gang ever. And you took them all on by your lonesome. Again. I'm finding this all a little hard to swallow, friend. Well, maybe you need to wash it down with some whiskey. By the way, did I mention that that train was flying down those tracks like a bat out of hell? Facilities. Suddenly, I have an urgent need to drain my one-eyed snipe. Well, I've oh, had more than a few drinks, and uh, I've been sitting here for quite a spell. <laughs> right through there. Let me show you. Playing call for us. Oh. Apparently. Storyteller is now taking a piss. Huh? I 
I never heard so much malarkey in my life. Uh, you think he's bullshitting us? You don't think he's Silas Greaves? I think he's just some old drunk looking for some free liquor. Well, he's an old drunk looking for some free liquor. He's doing I don't know, Jack. Stuff. I think I believe him. You don't think he met Jesse James? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That story makes no sense at all. Jack. I mean, you gotta be two bricks short of a load to believe that cock and bull story. I don't agree. Jack, lay off the ball. But you seriously think that tired old man went toe to toe with Jesse James? <laughs> well, that's better. Come back. Did I mention that this Jim was married to the infamous Bell Star? Of course, I didn't learn that until later. Anyway, I made my way forward the best I could. Around the sides, over the roof. At some point, some son of a bitch saw me and shouted out, It's a damn Pinkerton's! It's a damn Pinkerton! Huh. Now, I never worked for that limey cocksucker, but I guess they assumed I was one of his assassins. Those evil bastards firebombed Jesse's mother's house and killed his stepbrother. So it's no wonder each and every asshole on that train wanted to be dead. Everybody's always mistaking you for somebody else, aren't they? Why is that, I wonder? Don't rightly know, Jack. I'm just telling you how I remember it. I bet you are. Show yourself, coward! Goddamn damn law dog! What the fuck? What are you doing shooting the fucking wall, you dumbass? Damn, we're getting close to finishing this game as well. I came across a flat car piled high with logs and had to come up with a creative way to make my way forward. Right about then, I was attacked by some asshole on a Gatling gun. Hmm. Yeah, seems like you run into a lot of them. Asshole? Gatling guns. Yes, I did. Now, I don't remember how I took it out. It was either a bullet or dynamite. Where would you find dynamite? Does it really matter, Jack? You're messing with the flow oh, of the story wow. here. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that doing that before. Ah. It was either a bullet or some dynamite. Oh, really? It's not reloading? Well, well, there's my face. And now it's, now it's on the floor. Okay, going up there? Terrible idea. 
never gonna do it again. So what are you up to, Casey? This guy is sitting here. I hate a lot. Oh man, what's he ain't been good? Get some fried rice. I was looking for Jim and shooting any son of a bitch stupid enough to get in my way. And that included Jesse James himself. Sure were a lot of men determined to die that day. What are you? Yeah. Yellow? You call me yellow, motherfucker? It was then that Jesse detached the express car from the rest of the damn train. Oh. Okay. I understand that RV helps. Huh? I could see Jesse waiting for me, fixing to kill me so he could get away with all that money. I see him down there too. He looks like a taunt. You had a showdown with Jesse James? Of course he didn't. Everybody knows that Jesse was killed by Bob Ford. Yeah. Jesse went out like John Wesley Harden. Coward shot him in the back of the head. Guess it doesn't matter how far you run, does it, Ben? Your past always catches up with you. Bam. Yeah, I didn't kill Jesse James. Just wounded him bad enough to convince him to hang up his guns. What about that Jim fella? What happened to him? I figure he was up front with a gun to the engineer's head. That bastard slipped away again. I'll tell you how I got him, but first I need to whip my whistle. Jesse James, I'm a little 
Got three of the four that time. Without forgiveness. This may or may not be. After my showdown with Jesse. Oh crap, I gotta check something really quick. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What mountains would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. A perfect place to hide out from the authorities. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the res and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Another whiskey, Ben. Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Hmm. Now, where was I? Indians, right. I had more than my share of run ins with the Red Man. Like that time. Did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Ah, oh, of course I did. In fact, I could still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men. Until it consumes everything you are. Like that time, did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Ah, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men. Man, I don't like this. This is so 
is the only part of the team I don't like. I like every other part. Except for this. I am being protected by a tent. But these boxes provide no cover either. And the darkness will grow until it consumes everything you are. So, did you ever find it? Who? The man you are after. Let me ask you something, Ben. Do you ever think about death? Mr. Graves, are you all right? Oh. Unlock the silver shotgun. Ooh, dear. Ooh, dear. Really wish I had something that wasn't this though. Maybe one of these guys has it up there. Anybody? Come on now. There's blood everywhere. Just pistol, someone, anyone? Come on now. Won't you spare me over to another year? What is this? That I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me. Well, I am death, none can excel. I'll open the door to heaven or hell. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over to another year? Oh, death, someone would pray. Could you wait to call me another day? Oh, death, oh, death. Won't you spare me over till another year? So are you gonna answer the question? What question is that? Jim Reed. Did you ever find it? Reed was indeed that son bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brothers. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was going to stop me. Nothing. Well, that song certainly stopped me. Frank James, huh? Really? You get the sniper's position? I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. And I have a shotgun.
I'm guessing Frank James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. see these people. That's not fair. He backed off as I closed in on him, but he was still intent on killing me. And when I closed in on him again, he backed off again, looking for a better angle on me. Well, I will take those for the longer range. I'll take that hat. One of the five secrets in this area. We'll reload these guys because they're now my longest range weapon. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Greaves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? Isn't that why you were hunting the James Gang? The James Gang. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my possession. Dynamite? On your person? A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. Hold up. Oh, glad I had the shot though, man. This is gonna hurt. That old shack? Well, it went tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. Yeah, like, but Frank James is still Get ready to alive. go to bed, dude. In Missouri, showing oh, folks yeah? around the family farm. I'm pretty tired. I kind of just conked out. I didn't out, say man. he died in the fall, now did I? A couple minutes ago, almost fell asleep. So we can finish. We can spear bonds in the world. Kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'll catch you. At this point, I just yeah, don't man, give a shit. Take her easy, son. I explained oh, sure. to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You want Reed? Have at him. I never did like that bastard. I am done here. We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. Okay. Uh, Dweed, I have never played Grim Fandango. I have no idea. I've heard of it. I've heard the name, but I've never actually seen it or even played it. So. Alright, Reed. Where you at, son? Oh! So, what happens with Reed? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts. As I was determined not to let that murderer escape my revenge again. Okay, well, you need to die first. You can die second. There's nobody run down here. You can die third. There's someone else back there. And I ain't gonna go down there until you do it. Rather than wander in willy nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that some bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. 
Not an attractive woman exactly, <laughs> but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! Oh, okay, Jim. Yeah, all right, Jimmy. Jimbo Jones. Your wife is a hoe. No more telling the truth, dog. Oh. Oh. Back here. It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Would someone please kill him? Eventually, it was just me and Reed. All right, Reed. I had waited a long time to face him down, so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Son. And repay him, I did. I think I forgot to change the game. Up. Jim Reed, fucking dead. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well. It's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. Seems a shame he never had to pay. Well, funny thing about that. I did have one more chance at him. Back to episode seven, the Wild Bunch. Six months ago, I heard that Butch and Sundance were back in the States and had gathered up some of their old gang. I tracked them down, hoping that Roscoe Bob Bryant had returned with them. So, you're saying they didn't die down in Bolivia? That's what I'm saying. Good, the bad, the dead. Since like this could be our final encounter. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. I need to check something really quick. Pretty sure I've had this set to the wrong game for a very long time. And I have. Check that out. Thank you, Dweed, for noticing that. So let's get uh, back to it, I suppose. I'm not quite tired. Oh, please. Huh. Dead. Oh, shit. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one... 
Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? See, By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. Bomb Butch Cassidy. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends, no purpose except shooting Bob Bryant dead. Stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? Suddenly it was 1910. And there I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. Just like me. Yeah, the story got pretty depressing pretty quick, didn't it? But I wasn't about to call it quits. Okay. A lot of people is just even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted, so they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Bury that old asshole. What am I getting close to now? I'll go for this, I guess. I'm not gonna make it there, I don't think. <laughs> this is gonna hurt! Oh, Christ. Ah! oh my god! Don't worry, the weed, I knew what you meant. Put that geezer in the ground! Oh, 
Oh, I don't to throw that right fucking shit far. You obviously prevailed uh, since you're sitting here telling us the tale. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Hmm. Because when I woke up... Uh, from the dead? There was silence all around me. I could swear to God I saw Billy then. Billy who? Billy the kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Even over there. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You see that old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer. Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns ablaze. But I knew that old war horse had died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was dead, too, and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. Can't see them. They're fucking white. Here's a white bat. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. Oh, man. And in the gates of the cemetery. I saw John Wadley Harden, just like I remembered him. Robert Ollinger appeared with his terrible double-barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me. Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead.
The Dalton brothers, Robert and Grattan, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed. Each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought? Oh my god. Alonzo Longabar. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his Legion of the Dead. You told us before that you'd seen him alive. He was alive. Then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, AKA Butch Cassidy, coming at me from out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. gonna be one of those fucking old-fashioned but the kid wasn't quite deceased okay. not yet takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me partner those two look like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while clearly they were no longer amigos shit i was hoping i wouldn't have to kill you you won't have to butch i'm killing you first I asked them about Bob Bryant, but they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? You frittered it all away, Butch. Etta's mine. And so is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice.
Butch well, Cassidy and I don't the know Sundance how Kid died sure. there in that cemetery not six months ago. Success. Finale. This is the end of it. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian Army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob, your past always catches up with you. Oh. <laughs> I, I was a different man back then, crazy. Drinking, I, I've changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Choose your destiny, revenge or redemption. I'm going to choose redemption. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along... Why not just lay your cards on the table? Wanted to suss you out, Bob. See what kind of man you turned out to be. Maybe prod you into drawing on me. See, all those years on your trail turned me into a killer. Can't even remember who I was before you tried to murder me. You, on the other hand, walked that very same path in exactly the opposite direction. What do you mean by that? You think your life is worth sparing, Bob? I'm a... Boy, what's your name again? It's Eisenhower, sir. Dwight Eisenhower. What do you plan to do with your life, Dwight Eisenhower? Uh, tomorrow I'll be leaving for West Point, sir. So, you want to be a soldier? Well, then do it right, son. Don't tear down the world out of anger and spite like I did. You build it up. You do something decent with your life, you hear me? Sir? Yes, sir. I won't have it said I left you with nothing, Bob. Western shooter. What do you expect? I'd like this all play out, but I, I kind of want to play the last mission over again so I can get a different ending. Training all your unlocked skills and weapons. True West difficulty. That level is available. Try going through the story with Mabel HUD. The next difficulty to get the real Western experience. I'd rather not. I think I can. Oh, there we go. I have to do the mission again. I think. Well, I don't know about you boys, but I'm pretty beat. Well, it's too damn bad you never found that Bob character. 
It seems a shame you never had to pay. So we'll just skip it. Get into the story. Finish the mission again. And, uh. Check the revenge ending. Forty years I had waited to get my hands on the last of my brother's killers. Not even an army of demons could have stopped me now. If you the story again and quite for me, that's the truth. To the progress of the story is still totally intact. I already progressed through it. I would like to push forward, however. And that was at all possible. I hope I don't think it is. Okay. Both Johnny Ringo and Jim Reed fell fairly quickly. But the last one, Roscoe Bob Bryant. That son of a bitch had managed to escape my vengeance time and time again. I couldn't even be certain I'd recognize him after all those years. By now, he had to be close to 70. But for all you know, he could have been dead. That thought had indeed crossed my mind. As did others. For instance, did my thirst for vengeance turn me into something worse than the man I was after? By this point in my storied career, I had killed more men than Bob Bryant ever had. I was furious as hell at that bastard for making me who I am. A man with no family, no friends. Nothing could stop me from taking his life. I'd been after that killer forever. From the time I rode with Billy the Kid. But that chapter of my story you already know. Chapter of that fairy tale, you mean? Suddenly it was 1910. There I was, an old man roaming a ghost town dead almost two decades. But I wasn't about to call it quits. Even though the ghosts of my dead brothers were begging me to end what I started so long ago. Mr. Graves, are you all right? Would you like some water? The Wild Bunch knew I was there. They were after a treasure they had hidden before they fled, buried in the grave of a dead amigo. Some folks think the town is haunted. So they figured there wouldn't be many people poking around. Hmm, just going the wrong way. I intended to fill that grave with Bob Bryant's corpse. But like I said, the bandits knew I was on to them. They lured me in and hit me with everything they had. Obviously prevailed uh, since you're sitting here telling us to fail. Actually, in that moment, I did not prevail. So I suppose we're talking to a ghost. Funny you should put it like that, Jack. Oh. Okay. Hopefully we'll. We because when I woke up, coast through this a bit easier than last time. Because uh, from the dead, there's a lot of shit going down. Oh, well, there was silence all around me. I literally just barely touched my mouse, and that's what happens. Uh, I need to be right back, but uh, when I when I am, I back, could well, swear to God I saw Billy then.
All right, I'm re I have returned, and it's time for some revenge. Billy who? Billy the Kid. William Bonney. He was shooting at me from a rooftop. Was he now? Here and there. Even over there. Oh, I was dodging. So I am right. You are titched in the head. Mr. Greaves, perhaps we should switch you to coffee? You Don't see that coffee. old Indian again, too? No, but I did see Billy's killer, Patrick Floyd Garrett. He came at me guns a blazing. Oh, I knew that old war horse had people. died two years before. I wondered if maybe I was points. dead too and confronting the ghosts of my past. Perhaps all my sins were coming back to haunt me and, and drag me down to perdition. Thank you, Dawid. I saw Henry Plummer throw dynamite at me. In the gates of the cemetery, I saw John Wesley Harden, just like I remembered him. Robert Ollinger appeared with his terrible double-barrel shotgun. But no ghost army was stopping me! Uh, my father-in-law got hit with a fallen branch. He spent the rest of his life talking to dogs. Newman Hayes Clanton, William Brocious, John Peters Ringo, they all wanted me dead. The Dalton brothers, Robert and Grattan, guardians of the Garden of the Dead. See you out there in the distance, son. Where's your boy? Where's your boy? Can't see him. Gotcha. Oh, can't see you either. Give me a second. George Curry and Harvey Logan, alias Kid Curry, both thirsty for vengeance from the great beyond. <laughs> Jesse, Woodson, James, and Jim Reed, each one deader than the next. I thought I would go crazy. Thought? Oh god. Fucking hell, it's having a lot of love. Oh god. Fuck. Yeah. 
bastards. Finally, I saw Harry Alonzo Longabar. The Sundance Kid? Like a general leading his Legion of the Dead. You told us before that you'd see him alive. He was alive. Being a pussy, because I don't want to have to deal with dying and having to redo the entire party. Then I heard a voice call to me from afar. It was Robert Leroy Parker, a.k.a. Butch Cassidy, coming right, at me from Butch. out of the fog. Thanks for taking care of that bastard. I understand, Butchie. But the kid wasn't quite deceased. Not yet. Takes more than one little bullet to kill the likes of me, partner. Those two looked like they hadn't seen each other for quite a while. Clearly, they were no longer amigos. Shit. I was hoping I wouldn't have to kill you. You won't have to, Butch. I'm killing you first. I asked him about Bob Bryant. But they were too busy with their own heated conversation. Let me get this shit straight. You want my money and the love of my life? Can't skip this part. You frittered it all away, Butch. It is mine. So is that damn money. I didn't want to shoot anybody until I had an answer to my question. But those boys didn't give me much of a choice. All right. Mexican stand up. Now look at whoever's looking at me. Hey buddy, why are you looking at me like that, foe? Okay. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid died there in that cemetery not six months ago. Dishonored, don't even care. Just need a dead. The first time I dishonorably killed anybody. It didn't give me the cutscene! Do I really have to play through the entire game again to get the end? Oh, it's fucking bananas. That's so much shit. Can't go to it either. Hmm. Let me see. Let's see if I can't find something.
really quickly I'm gonna look and see if I can find the revenge ending. Killed by the Bolivian Army. Killed by the Bolivian Butch Cast. Okay. Let me just uh, do a little thing, Dango. Uh, I'm not going to play that ever again. Remove. Remove. Uh, add window capture sub region select region Uh, properties. Shift that thing over just a little bit. There we go. And now we'll just, uh, size, fit the screen. City and the Sundance Kid were killed by the Bolivian Army. Everybody knows that. That's the legend, but it ain't the truth. So, uh, you never found Bob? There is no Bob. This old some bitch ain't even Silas Greaves. Sir, is that true? Have you been pulling our legs this whole time? Well, not the whole time. Oh man, I think you've worn out your welcome here. Maybe you're right, Jack. Maybe it's time to pay. You see, Ben, or should I say Bob? Your past always catches up with you. I, I was a different man back then, crazy, drinking. I, I changed my ways, I swear to you. If I could turn back the clock, I... But you can't, Bob. Why'd you toy with me like that? Telling those tales, knowing all along. Why not just lay your cards on the table? Here. I won't have it said that I left you with nothing. That's how you want it? So be it. Ah, you have yourself a little fucking duel with them, I see. That's right. Did you know it was him all along? Cassidy told me Bob was in Abilene before he died. But I wasn't sure Ben was my man until he revealed how much he knew about Ringo and Reed. The coin, of course. Well, that was the last nail in that particular coffin. I better go get the sheriff. You okay, boy? You're looking might shook up. Uh, Dwight, maybe you best go home. Uh, young Eisenhower here is leaving for West Point tomorrow. Uh, he shouldn't get caught up in something like this. I think I might head out myself at this juncture. Unless you want to stop me, Jack. No, sir. Huh, Mr. Graves. 
So where are you going now? Now that you had your revenge? Doesn't really matter, does it? As I've sold my soul for it and will never again walk with those I have lost. Oh, that, that ending was just fucking crazy. You spare me over to another year. And that's that. Well, that was all Call of Call of War as Gunslinger. That was pretty good, actually. I did enjoy the game. There is a, a new game plus uh, where you keep all your unlocks and you work towards unlocking everything. Aside from that, there's uh, an arcade mode where you go through and try to not die. And there's also duels mode where you, uh, you uh, just do the duels that you uh, had them on. Never done this before, so I have no idea what it's like. We all have, we've seen how bad I am at uh, win a series of showdowns honorably and quickly to become a true legend of the Wild West. Get five lives. Try again in case you get shot in the face and die. Pat Garrett, 2000 bounty. Hey, Patty. Hold on, son. Yeah. See, this is shit. I actually don't like this. Uh. Oh, jeez. I don't want to view my profile. Uh. Do whoever do not want to fucking continue with the duels because they're just duels and I hate just I just don't like the duels. I'd go through the night.